So Destination X is in the books. A good show, but we can do better. We can continue on this upward curve. We've got Johnny Impact in the building. Johnny Impact is your TV champion. Tonight, Johnny Impact defends his TV championship for the first time, but that is not all. We will carry on and we will find maybe a new challenger to Bobby Lashley's world TNA, well, TNA World Championship. So yeah, we're on the roll, we're on the road to lockdown. And like I said last episode, nobody likes that word anymore, but we're not changing it. It's still gonna be lockdown. Will there be a steel cage match, a lethal lockdown match? I th I'm not sure if a lethal lockdown's multi-man, but we might do some steel cage matches, which will be fun. I'm blabbering on, let's get on to it. Let's get on to impact and explosion. Okay, Impact this week kicks off with Johnny Impact and his manager, Ric Flair. Johnny Impact has the TNA TV title over his shoulder. By the way, his name's Impact. He holds the TNA T... I didn't do it on purpose, but it's worked out. 81 for the segment because he's interrupted by the Olympic gold medalist, the ass-kicking machine, Kurt Angle. Angle comes straight down to the ring. It looks like we're going to have a fight. But he opens up. A handshake. He puts a hand out to John to Johnny Impact. A, shine, a sign of respect from Kurt Angle. Impact takes the hand a little bit begrud uh, not begrudgingly, but like curiously. And Angle pulls him close to say, "But don't worry, because you're not holding that title any much longer. Because I am cashing in my rematch. I am making sure you defend that title week in week out, like you should. And I'm doing it." tonight that's right kurt angle versus johnny impact in the main event tonight and as angles leaving johnny impact hits the low blow and uh yeah that's a message to kurt angle but tonight angle versus impact in a rematch for the tna tv title 81 a good start Followed up with a 60 rated matchup. Davy Richards defeated Desmond Wolf. A good win for Richards here. No real storyline to it, but I just wanted to get Richards a win over Desmond Wolf, who got the better of the performances. So, awkward. 60, good stuff. Kevin Nash and Shark Boy. Cool Sharks could have promo said they're on the same page now. They are working towards the same goal, and that goal is the TNA tag team titles. And they're making it very clear that they want their shot. They want their two on two tag team shot. And uh, yeah, they will be hunting it down like some cool sharks. Cool sharks. 47. Right, Samoa Joe is in the ring and he's talking about last night and he's talking about the defeat to Sting. He says, it's okay. We're going to put that behind me. I'm going to put all of that behind me. The nation of violence will continue because everybody knows that I am the biggest ass kicker in this company. Nobody puts a no, like nobody can cause the carnage that I can cause. And that brings out the monster, Abyss. Abyss comes out and says, you want to see carnage? And the fight is on straight away. Samoa Joe and Abyss start brawling. It gets broken up by referees. But these two monsters are on a collision course, it seems. Abyss has, has called his shot. He's taken his shot. And Samoa Joe is the man in the firing line. 72. Good stuff. Uh, we did Pope defeating El Generico for 64. This is good stuff. Pope with a 61. El Generico 47. So, yeah, really good stuff, actually. And he's going to start another storyline in just a second. The DDE gets the win for the Pope. And as he's leaving, the entrance music of... Sting hits. Sting is coming out for his six-man tag, which he's involved in next. And Sting and the Pope just sort of take a look at each other. The Pope is not happy of having his moment of celebration taken away from him by Sting. So we go to break. We come back. It's Sting and the Motor City Machine Guns against three members of the world elite. That's Eric Young, Bruce Magnus, and Doug Williams. Um, and it gets uh, 68. This is really good. Really good, actually. Sting carried it with 76. Um, Magnus with the weak link with 38. That's pretty poor from him. Sting pinned Magnus to get the win. 68. Good TV six-man tag. And Sting gets a win. He's back on impact. And he's back on the winning way. Right. Samoa Joe could a promo on Abyss for 74. He says he wants to feel violence, does he, Abyss? He wants to feel like a monster. Well, monsters need to be put down. 
by other monsters. This is how it works. It's a pecking order of nature. And Samoa Joe will forever be at the top. 74, Joe and Abyss are on a collision course. It's a good promo though, really good. Right, we went to the establishment's office where Anderson and Lashley are sat watching the show. Uh, Lashley, Anderson so it's, it's sort of but in his sly way, it's just hinting along of, so who's going to be, you know, next in line for that? And Hogan says, well, hang on, hang on. Let's, just, let's just watch the show and see if anyone stands out, shall we? 65. Let's see, shall we? Jeff Hardy was in action against Hernandez for 75. What a great match this is. And a great performance from Jeff Hardy putting the 73. 54 from Hernandez. Really good match. Really good match. And afterwards... We still wanted to see if someone would stand out. Well, Jeff Hardy makes sure he wants to stand out. He calls out Bobby Lashley, who comes out onto the stage. Eric Bischoff comes out with him and stops it from going any further. But Bischoff says one thing. Jeff, you want a title shot? I understand. But you need to know that we can't trust you. You've had issues in the past, Jeff. Let's be honest. And I don't think the, the establishment can trust you as a champion but i'm going to give you chances to prove it week in week out you've got to turn up and you've got to be at your best you've got a good win tonight let's see if you can do it next week because next week you're going to be going against mr anderson that's right 59 for the announcement of the match 84 for the previous segment by the way jeff hardy versus mr anderson is your main event next week on impact that's huge that's not all though because we're also doing this samoa joe will take on matt Morgan, he's gonna. That's a big test for Samoa Joe, a big man, a bit of a monster himself. So, Samoa Joe, the monster hunter, is taking on Matt Morgan next week. Let's see how that goes. Uh, we did a backstage angle with Suicide Bins with the X Division Championship over his shoulder when the Amazing Red comes over to congratulate him. Say, I'm so happy for you, my man, man, my man. If that didn't even come out very well, did it? Um, Suicide just sort of looks down at the amazing red and looks him back up and walks away very odd behavior from suicide there considering it's against one of his friends in theory the amazing red very odd very very odd suicide got a win of a richie steamboat who makes his impact debut we signed him from fcw of course um because he was their fcw champion and i wanted to i wanted to fuck with them so i did 52 is actually not bad at all suicide gets the win um, and yeah, suicide wins. But in this match, he's, he's, he's acting odd still again. Has the title gone to his head? We'll see. 52. Um, right. We went to, the, towards the office again where Anderson and Hogan are in there. And AJ Styles is trying to get in. Well, we assume Anderson and Hogan are in there. AJ Styles is trying to get in. We know Hogan is in there because he stops the security. Well, he gets the security to stop Styles from entering the office. Styles just wants answers, but instead he gets a steel pipe to the back of the head. Anderson saw Styles come in and took advantage. 16. Damn, Mr. Anderson. Damn. Okay, the main event then, I've skipped through, but there you can see, what a match. Match of the save so far. Johnny Impact defeats Kurt Angle after Ric Flair interferes to defend the TNA Television Championship. Kurt Angle 85, Johnny Impact 74, an 84 rated match. It's hot right now, but the heat on this has blown us out of the water. What a match between these two. Better than the pay-per-view by some distance. And Impact regains, well, retains the championship. Where does Kurt Angle go from here? We'll find out next week, I suppose. 84, that gives us a 73 rated Impact. Very good. The main event helped it, but Jeff put in a good performance there. We had some good, strong segments. I'm pleased with this, very pleased. Okay, Explosion this week kicks off the 52 rated matchup. Eddie Kingston gets the win for the flock against Generation Me. The Blackout Lariat, 46 from Kenta, 40 from Kingston, 55 from Jeremy Buck, and 47 from Max Buck. Good win for the flock here. Really good win for the flock. And after the, after the match, well, the flock show their dominance. They beat down Generation Me. Pat comes out to try and make the save, but it doesn't work. And the flock continue to dominate. 35, not great. 
Uh, Eric Young is well. Tyler Black is backstage cutting, cutting a, an interview um, with Cesaro by his side, talking about how he wants to be the very best in his company. Eric Young comes over, disrespects him, talks about who the hell are you? Just some upstart indie wannabe. Fifty six for the uh, confrontation, and we show it to explain why the match was made. It's Young versus Black. It's next, and it's a fifty one. Not great, actually. Tyler Black outperformed Eric Young there. That's a surprise. Tyler Black gets the win over Eric Young with a Phoenix Splash. But afterwards, the flock aren't done, are they? They are not done. And they beat down the Kingslayers. They beat down McFoley too. The flock have had a good night. A very good night. Okay, Angelina Love defeated Sarah Del Rey for 45. 44 from Love. Del Rey 39. Pretty good. Break a bitch gets the win. Love that finish name, by the way. Wow. Um, afterwards... Um, Tara comes out to, to well, confront Angelina Love before before she can get in the ring. She's attacked by Velvet this guy and Madison Rain. Angelina Love just sort of looks on, conflicted whether to make the save or whether not to get involved with her friend's business. Forty six, not great for Tara Love. It's for Tara Love, not great for Tara. Is Angelina Love working with her former friends? Hmm. Right, main event then, tag team contest, beer money, defeat, lethal consequences for 57, 60 from Storm is the best of the lot, 40 from Jay Lethal was the worst, that's very interesting, James Storm gets the win, but afterwards it's, it's not great, it's not great for beer money, because partnership of pain are here, and they destroy the heel tag team, they're not quite done with beer money, that gives us a 52 rated show, yeah, it's okay, not spectacular, was kind of hoping for better for some of the matches, but it's fine. Okay, that's the end of the episode then, and we're back with a week of videos. I'm so thankful for all the support over the past few weeks where I've been away, and also the support on Monday's episodes. Huge, huge from all of you. Fantastic stuff. We are back tonight. That's right. If you are watching this at the moment it comes out at Thursday afternoon UK time, we are back in about an hour or two live on the twitch channel twitch.tv slash carl diction link is in the description below so if you want to join this live that's where you need to go get involved with a little community we're building there which is really nice um if you want to do that that's where to go but if you want to watch the videos monday and thursday next week we'll recap all of it and we go again again and again lockdown is on this horizon lockdown is two weeks away really for us in terms of real life so a lot to do a lot to do. If you like the video, make sure you drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel more, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, you know all the drill. New house, remember, and a new, well, not new, same old nonsense, isn't it? Same old nonsense. Until then, peace.